November 7, 2011, and I'm in Buenos Aires in the Buenos Aires Holocaust Museum. Just wanted to give you a look of this museum. There is a school class uh, being educated here, a number of historical displays from the pre war years to the years leading up to World War II and the increasing restrictions on Jews in Europe and the persecution to the 1942 Wannsee Conference in Berlin that decided the final solution and the building of extermination camps like Auschwitz, Sobibor, Belzec, Treblinka. I'm on the second floor now and there are images of shoes representing victims of the Holocaust and there is actually a pile of shoes here that looks like it might be original from actual victims of the Holocaust. Images shown here show the immense piles of shoes and clothing and other possessions that came with the deported Jewish families and these, I think, are, this is more of an art installation here representing Jewish footsteps. Let me see what it says here. This in Lasse, okay, to basically unlace the shoes. Okay. And this is another art installation here. Let me see the explanation of this one. Restitution. Restitution. Is it possible to provide restitution to the shoes or of the shoes to their wearers? Yeah. Very somber piece of history and Argentina accepted a number of Jewish refugees or immigrants after World War II, while at the same time also accepting a number of former senior Nazi officials, like, uh, let me see, give you some names here, of Josef Mengele, Adolf Eichmann, and other pretty senior people in the Third Reich. So Argentina has quite a split history in terms of immigration after World War II.